This is the firepower of a roadside bomb, but this is a test blast at a range outside Edgefield, South Carolina. In Iraq and Afghanistan, armored vehicles like this protect our troops from this modern warfare, saving lives from IEDs or improvised explosive devices, blasts that 10 years ago would have killed our troops. Combat vehicles, including the Buffalo and Cougar, help troops come home alive. But there's a new problem. An estimated 20% of our servicemen and women get a shaking from these blasts and suffer concussions or traumatic brain injury, TB. So somebody has ringing in their ears, daily headaches, they, 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 they can't walk, they can't concentrate. Dr. Mark George is leading research on TBI at the Medical University of South Carolina. The goal, preventing TBI. What's frustrating for the troops, many people have the symptoms, but scanners often don't show a thing wrong. Ready to go in? Yes. So, uh, people say, well, if we can't see it, we, um, it must not exist, and so you're making this up. Dr. George is using a souped-up MRI and celery to prove they're not making it up. If I slice down... Celery fibers are similar to these cables in the brain. When the troops get shaken by a blast, it's possible these cables get shifted and frayed. Watch the explosion. See how it distorts the pole and the trees. That's this blast pressure wave that goes out from the explosive before the firewall actually even gets there. Dr. George says it will pass through the body and brain bending and changing. Researchers stir up a mock brain using a gel that has the properties of a human brain and the fibers of celery, representing the cables of the brain. The canisters of gel and celery that survived the blast are studied for damage. The shock wave, we don't know what, how a blast event impacts the body and the brain uh, until we can actually see it. Forest Protection funded the research so they can make their armored vehicles even safer for our troops. Protective seats, different helmets, padded foam inside the vehicle could be the result. Dr. George says it might even be medication for the troops before or after a blast. The question to be answered first, what's most damaging, the blast wave or the concussion effects that follow? Force protection needs to know which one is more important in producing traumatic brain injury because that would affect uh, vehicle design. And interestingly, nobody on the planet knows. We want them coming home in one piece, but we want them coming home in one piece physically and mentally.